got the J Concepts ruptures because many of you guys have requested that I actually do these. So here they are. And they're going on some low cost 1.9 bead locks. These are a high mass bead lock, so they add some weight. And we're gonna be testing on Super Light SV2. So now this is a uh, much more of a competition style tire. Um, it's not Sorka legal. Um, as far as us, although we aren't Sorka here, we do abide by general rules of tires. Uh, they must appear to be a scale tire or a scale version of a real tire. So these don't meet that. However, that doesn't mean we can't check these things out. So guys, let's get to the table, get these last two mounted up. SV2, outside we go. Let's go. These are a really nice tire, but I wanna do a little bit of a direct comparison real quick with another J Concepts tire that you guys already know about. Here we have the tusk and the ruptures. The ruptures are obviously a little bit taller, which takes them out of the class two range for one thing, along with the tread design doesn't appear to be a scale tire. So, but I mean, heck, if I was to choose between one of these two and I had to go to a competition, that tusk looks pretty darn awesome. But you know what? Go ahead and get these right here finished up and outside we go. And a few minutes later, we are all set and ready to go. I do have these stock foams, or the foams that come in the J Concepts tires. I'm going to get on that waiting list for another set of 3BRC anti-foams. Guys, those anti-foams are just top of the line. Uh, get on that wait list. I'm telling you right now. Um, yeah. So, now these tires right here. Um, hopefully SV2 is light enough that I don't have a big tire roll problem. On a heavier truck, I can tell you right now, these will roll pretty darn bad. But, uh, maybe SV2 is light enough. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, ho, ho, you hear that? My battery's done. Perfect timing. So it is time to get these on SV2 and outside to see what they've got. Um, got my hopes up. These things are nice and sticky. It almost seems like the J Concepts green compound is getting a little more sticky than what it used to. You know? Let's see what these brand new tires have got. Let's see if we have enough weight on here to actually compress these. Uh, might need a little bit more weight to make them work on this kind of a climb. We'll see here in just a few seconds. Oh, 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 wow. Guys, it almost didn't even spin a tire. Holy cow. That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> that ramp was amazing. Uh, I've never seen one go up it that easy. I mean, no kidding. That was impressive. Let's see what we got going here. like we're going to walk right up this as well coming out the right side is the hard way and uh not a problem wow let's get climb time so far uh these things are just uh crazy awesome got a little bit of rub right there so i can get that tire to Catch a hook. Looks like we're gonna need a little bit of dig action. Got the hook. Done. Wow. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> uh, there's probably a reason these are illegal, right? Is it because of this? Let's see what we got on cliffhanger here. Let's see, these tires have been just insane so far. Let me see if I can get this to come over. This one torque twists up to the left, um, which is actually proper in scale in my opinion. And I got to see if I can make this get the connection. Oh yeah! It is all in that body right there. Let's 
see here if I can get that front pull around. Got a lot, a lot of, wait, let's see what we got here for tire deflection. A little bit, a little bit. All right, we're gonna work this around. It's gonna go up. Wow. Twin ridges. You guys have seen this one a hundred times. So this is one of those that can, uh, well, I always say the same thing. It can each, it just climbed up the face of that, of, oh man. You have got to be kidding me. Uh, it, 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 <laughs> Little, it generally it climbed right up that right there. Every other tire slides on that. Oh, geez, that's awesome. One more climb. This is more of a bounce tile climb, in which I got to get all four tires across this. And it is really crazy. You got to throttle it just as the front comes over something like that but it does not just uh, work so super easy I'm at a little bit of an angle right here let's see nope yeah these tires are a little bit larger they could use a whole new truck. Not that I need a whole new truck. All right, so we get the front end to settle down. Something like this right here. And then, as that front comes over like that, I've got to throttle it. Then it got to bounce. The front's got to get the hook, and a whole lot of gotta, gotta, gotta's gotta happen. Let's see. got it three out of four i'll take it so i got three out of four got us <laughs> drove it about 50 feet on the grass a little bit of dirt so the tires are not as fresh new out of the box let's see how much of a difference this makes because these things just walked right to the top so yeah let's see if we get some slippage now or see if they still get the hook Looking pretty good. There's a little tire slippage. There we go. It's above the uh, joint, though. There we go. There we go. Get that front end to make that pull right there. Come on, baby, come on. You can do it. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> These things are awesome. I wanna start off with a huge thanks to you guys for suggesting these tires. These things hook up way, way better than what I had imagined. Um, fresh out of the box. They didn't even spin even a little bit. I mean, I'm looking at the footage. I'm like, they didn't spin all the way to the top of the concrete ramp. That was awesome. Then after all the driving, driving about 50, 60 feet on the dirt, the grass and all that, getting the tires a little bit dirty. So they weren't perfect sticky out of the package. Still made it to the top. Took a little bit more work, but they made it. Um, very, very impressive tires. Um, I see why they are not legal. They are that awesome. Um, I think maybe pins might be a little bit more than this, but uh, these tires here are awesome. And if you're building one of those cheater rigs, like the belly dragger style of vehicles, and you're not worried about tires and all that, but I, I don't know if you guys can run pins or not. You may be limited to at least some kind of a tread. I don't know. Never mess really with that part of the 
crawler world. So you guys comment, tell me about that. But uh, these tires are awesome. For the weight of SV2, it's almost a half pound heavier. Uh, I think with the uh, other tires, like 4.2 pounds. And these are like 4.9 right in there. So yeah, almost a perfect half pound heavier. Close. Anyway, guys, these tires are awesome. I will link them down below, so make sure you guys check them out. I'll also link everything on SV2. So, guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Another thanks to you guys for suggesting these tires. Give it a big thumbs up, and thank you all for watching. Hey, guys, if you're still watching and you're hearing this message, you are absolutely awesome. I want to tell you guys, you are the cream of the crop. Um, also, if you're listening this far, well, you know, if you want to help directly support Exo Caged RC, got the channel memberships, $2, $5, $10, and $25. You get early viewing, and sometimes I get to put up a little extra footage for you guys. So guys, check that description, and thank you so much.